Today we're going to talk about the Ruger SR-22. So this is the SR-22 from Ruger. Uh, this one is actually in turquoise, but uh, I bought this some time ago. Uh, the wife wanted to shoot with me, uh, and she's a little recoil sensitive, so we figured we'd start out with a 22. Uh, and this has a lot of great safety features, which is one of the reasons that uh, I didn't mind uh, getting it. Uh, you know, what you have is a decocker on here, and, and those aren't familiar with it. Um, when this is in the fire position and locked back, you press down on this decocker, or safety, and it'll drop the hammer in a safe way to where it really disables the trigger. So it's a neat feature to have because you don't have to worry about, you know, dropping the magazine, clearing out the last round. Uh, once you're done, you can decock it, and you're good to go. And the great part about that is, on top of that, then you go into a double action. I'll show you here. There's a lot of different ammo I'm using today. Just to get a variety of it, I'm using some CCI, using some Thunderbolt, mixing it up with some uh, Remington Mohawk. Some of these I'm not even sure you can get anymore, but um, it's getting old. They've been in there quite a few years, uh, so I kind of want to get them out of my, you know, kind of rotate them out with the newer stuff. So what I meant by the decocker, so once you put that in, say you put it on fire, and you have one in the chamber. So, you shoot, and if you hit this decocker, which I'll hit it on this side, it actually drops the hammer for you, and as you can see, nothing. Now if I flip this back up, you can see that it's in the fire position with the red, I do, gives me the double action. This is, and I must say, I shot a lot of 22s, and this thing is reliable. It's weird to say that with a 22 if it's not a revolver, but uh, this 22, I've rarely, rarely ever had it fail to feed, no matter what kind of ammo that I'm putting in. Like I said, I'm mixing three different kinds of boxes here uh, of different kinds of ammo. Some of it I know probably five to ten years old, some of it newer, but this thing has just ate everything that I've put in it. Uh, just completely reliable. Um, I have uh, a couple others. I have the Ruger Mark III, and uh, it it does well. It's a, it's a little more of a a uh, precision 22, a little tighter tolerances when that thing tends to get dirty. Uh, not so much, you know. It, uh, it it will have a fail to feed or an issue, but this thing. I tell you what, if you want a really reliable 22, this SR-22, my opinion, and uh, based on the results that I've gotten out of this, this thing is just completely reliable. And I said, if, if you can have it in safety, or the safe position, notice the hammer's not pulled back or anything, but there's a bullet in the chamber. So if I flip this up, you see that now it is in the firing, and I get double action. So, and you just drop it, drop the slide. Again, <clears throat> can't really say enough about this 22. Uh, again, with its reliability, I mean, you know, the, the Cerakoting turquoise color on there, uh, the wife kind of picked that out. She thought it was, you know, a lot better than some of the, the standard black guns you get. So uh, she wanted something with a little color to it, but uh, she really likes this. And, uh, in fact, I probably shoot it more than she does uh, because I enjoy shooting it so much. But uh, we just put this up in the fire position. Ready to go. Accuracy? Accuracy's not bad. If I hold down... You know, these are probably 10 yards away. And uh, it, it's able to hit the plate pretty consistently. Some of it to me, I mean, by all means, don't judge the accuracy of this firearm uh, in my hands. But uh, I, uh, I really like it. And then just drop the decocker, which drops the hammer. And then, as you can see, so how does it take down? This is really simple, actually, to take down. <clears throat> so what you would do, as you can see, 
No mag. We've already looked. Nothing in the chamber. Completely empty. There's a little lever right here. And that gets pulled down. So what you do is you lock it back using the lock. You pull this down like so. And then you let go of the slide and this just pops off. Uh, so what you'll see if you take a close look at it, so the barrel is attached uh, to the frame. But uh, very simple design. This is what you see. And you notice right in there, there's a little hole where the spring goes. So when I put this back together, I want to put this spring in the hole that we talked about underneath the barrel. And then you just want to line it up with this hole and the barrel through. And then really, you just push this back and it oops, slides right back in. And then push that together. Done. So really, push back in, it slides forward, and super simple. If anybody's taken a, a, a part of Ruger Mark III, uh, you know what complicated and just completely terrible to try to take one of those apart. So that was kind of the reason I went looking for another 22, is just because, I, well, I like shooting the Mark III. It's a great, great gun. But my gosh, if you ever try to take apart and clean it, it it's it's horrible. In fact, I've, I've talked to some gun store owners, and they would they would say at times they've gotten a box of parts uh, when people would take the uh, Mark III apart and try to bring it back in, uh, just because they couldn't get it back together. But uh, uh, targets I'm shooting at, I uh, had a friend that uh, had steel, a welder, so he cut out some quarter-inch steel. Uh, those, I'm not sure the type of steel, but uh, those targets will take anything. I shoot those with 223, um, every kind of pistol caliper, and really doesn't even hardly dent them. Uh, the small one is a 3 8 uh, AR500. I think I got both of those from Shoot Steel, uh, and the other is about a half an inch. Um, so both of those are great targets. Uh, I keep the, the half inch one back further. Uh, for the larger rounds, uh, it'll take a 308 pretty easy at 50 yards. But, um, you know, some variety just to look at uh, transaction, you know, uh, transaction, uh, transition, target transition, back and forth. I've got some other targets down further, but um, I got to clean those up, repaint them. But I just figured for this demonstration and kind of walking you through uh, the SR22, we would just do some close targets. Again, I want to go to full, I want to go to single action. So, and see if I can get that every time. Just every time. This, you know, it's, it's really hard sometimes to, uh, to have a 22 automatic that just is that reliable. And again, I'm mixing up some Remington Mohawk, 10 years old. Some Thunderbolt Remington, probably every bit of five, ten years old, and then throw in some CCI, which is only probably about two years old. But uh, I have just the consistency of this gun and the ability to it uh, to perform is is really impressed me. So let's do a little more shooting here. And in case you are new to the whole, uh, you know, grip and, and how to actually, how you should hold down. And again, this is my opinion and stuff that I've, I've read about and watched before other, other professionals do this. No, I shouldn't say other professionals, but professionals that do this. I'm just a, a novice that's like shooting in my home range. But uh, the key is, is to try to get that back strap, at the top of that piece, as far up in the webbing as you can, and then wrap nice tight fit. You shouldn't have any kind of uh, space in there between your webbing and the, the top of that back strap. And then of course finger lines right down the barrel. You want to keep it off of the trigger at all times until you're ready to pull it. Second hand, right across these knuckles, across the inside of these fingers, you'll wrap those around. So it wraps around and it snuggles right up underneath your other thumb and then you got a strong grip. And when you're ready, you just pull down and, and go for it. But um, 
that is a really strong grip. You don't have to worry about it. It absorbs most of the recoil. Just within that grip, I've seen some people like this, which puts really all that strain just on your wrist. This way, you're pushing out and you're holding it with both wrists down. So, a lot, uh, lot better way to hold it, in my opinion. A uh, lot more stable, a lot more control over it. So, throw some more in here. But again, I've had this gun, geez, I know plus five years. And the wife's <laughs> shot it a few times, but... Uh, now that again, can I mention at the beginning of this, prices at ammo still hasn't really gone down. Reloading is, you know, I, I still got some parts and pieces, and I just, you know, made a recent video about uh, reloading uh, some 223s, and I have plenty of parts. It's just trying to get the primers in uh, to do more. And until really the primers pick up, um, I started picking up the 22. I figured uh, I had quite a bit of these rounds, and I still get to come out and have fun at the range, but yet uh, I can still keep a, a, a small stock of 9mm and 223, shoot some of them, but then I can offset you know, a lot of my range days just doing some 22 practice. Which again, these are really fun guns, especially when you have one that's super reliable. Whether how fast you shoot, slow you shoot, this thing, again, super reliable. Um, we'll do about another round, and maybe I'll kind of go inside and talk through some of the specifics on it. But uh, I am really impressed. I own several Ruger uh, revolvers, and uh, I really do like those. But yeah, as far as coming out and, and letting somebody have the ability to have a firearm, with the additional safety features like this has, the shootability and the reliability, and just overall grip and everything, as you can see, it's got uh, you know plenty of, of little grip textures on there, the slide, light. Um, everything about it is just, just a wonderful gun. So, put that back up. Again. If I shoot slow, or fast, there's still one in there, but say she's done for the day, decox, nothing on the trigger. Now, when it's ready again, put it back on fire, and done. Didn't know I just had one left in there. But that's, uh, should be enough for the shooting part of this 22. This is the Ruger uh, SR-22. I think they still sell them. They have some new models out. But uh, I really like this. Really good gun. Reliable. Nice looking gun. Fits well in the hand. Recoil is completely imaginable. Manageable. But uh, <laughs> just thought I'd share it with you. So we may go aside and take a look at it. Hey, welcome back. I just got back from the range. As some of you may have determined, the range is about 50 feet from my house. I'm pretty blessed to be able to have some land to be able to go out my front door and and uh, have a range where I can go out and uh, shoot when I want to. <clears throat> so, just want to go over some additional features that I didn't cover out there. A little bit more specifics about uh, the firearm itself. Again, this is the Ruger 22, or the SR-22P, technically what it's called, P for pistol. Um, it does have an ambidextrous safety uh, decocker, set on both sides. It does have a 10 plus 1 round magazine and it actually comes with two of these. So 10 round capacity is pretty nice. It's kind of the standard on 22s but <clears throat> in a small pistol like this, this is this is really nice to have. Uh, it does have a 3.5 inch barrel and a black anodized aluminum slide. Uh, the slide grips are really make it easy to manipulate. You can pull the slide back quite easy. Comes with a picky tinny rail if you want to put some kind of flashlight or accessory on it. Uh, you have that. <clears throat> it comes with a three-dot sight. The front is a fixed sight. Uh, the rear is adjustable for windage and elevation. Uh, so that makes it nice if you really want to uh, tune this in. <clears throat> Other than that, um, like I said, I'll post the specifics up. It's got nice grips. And if you notice, the, um, uh, the magazine itself has kind of like a little finger grip at the end of it. So you can get that extra purchase if you got wide hands. Mine are a little wide, but... Um, the pinky catches right on that grip. 
uh, right on the bottom of that mag grip. So that makes it really easy to, to hold, makes it easier to hold and control. <coughs> but that's about it for the features. You know, if it's something that you'd like to add to your collection, just wanted to give you a little review, some thoughts, something to think about. Um, <coughs> some of the features, kind of show you how it works on the range. And um, that's about it. So you guys take care, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.